This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, May 4th, through this coming Sunday, May 10th, 2020. Let's look at some astrology this week to help you understand why you have been feeling like you do. Today, Venus squares Neptune, and this square will last until the beginning of June, an unusually long time due to Venus being stationary before she goes retrograde. This calls attention to this aspect, giving it emphasis and some extra time for you to work with it. Neptune is a higher octave energy expression of Venus. So this week, you're going to find yourself wondering what you really want from yourself, from relationships, from your life. Neptune adds a layer of mystical fantasy that is a bit removed, so you may find your dreams become more active. Your intuition and your psychic abilities are more pronounced. And hopefully you have been participating with fantasize and dream energy the guides talked about two weeks ago, because now it makes sense and it's even more relevant and powerful. And to help you get the best out of this Venus-Neptune square, let Neptune guide you intuitively for what needs to change for you. And you know, change is easily identifiable. It's the things you aren't happy with. <laughs> the things you wish would change or would get better for you. That's where you need to focus. And this is passive energy because it's Venus and it's Neptune. It's not about taking action, but it is about your ability to identify what could be better in your life. The naming what needs to change is such a large part of the work to actually allowing change. So open your heart and allow your alignment to the ideas that make you the happiest. Venus and Neptune are heart-based. They're not mind or logic-based. You're going to have to work from your heart to achieve the changes you desire. And then also this week on Thursday, May 7th, we have the full moon in Scorpio. This is just the intense and positive energy we need. <laughs> Neptune is going to contribute also to this full moon by allowing you to envision your better future, which is going to help you to get out of any ruts or stagnation. It's time to kickstart what inspires you. Use Scorpio's energy to connect to intimacy, compassion, and communicating your needs. Again, this is all heart-based. So get out of your head. It's time to listen to your heart and honor your heart's needs and desires. This means heart-to-heart -heart communication, heart-based, you know, paying attention to your heart-based dreams, heart-based authentic alignment in your life, and heart-based inspiration to help you move forward. Give yourself some time to sit down this week and focus on these ideas so you can formulate what matters to you now and moving forward. And you know what, with the reading, let's get specific about you and your life. You know that you're ready for more. You know you are ready to connect to the guidance available to you with the reading. Your guides communicate. We explore your lifetime blueprint. You get understanding. You release karma. We get you into alignment for your happiest future. It's all available with your reading. And all the information to set up your reading is on my website, spiritpathways.net. This week we have Celestite in a Nice chunk of clear quartz, but celestite. This is angelic energy. It's, it, it clears negativity. It overcomes infections. It removes fear and calms your emotions. It's all about your intuition and that angelic higher vibrational alignment. This beautiful pale blue crystal amazing energy 
with that. All right, let's get our cards. Nine cards for the energy of this week. Let's count. All right, number one. <laughs> Jumping out there. <laughs> I love it. That's emotional outcomes. All right. All right, two together. Let's just move this out a bit. And one more. All right, here we go. We're starting with the King of Cups. I'm going to lay these out and we're going to go over each one to give you the energy of this week and how you can use it to your best advantage. Nice. All right. We're starting with the King of Cups. He jumped out. He couldn't wait to join us this week. He is emotional outcomes. He is creative outcomes. He's perfect Neptune Venus squaring energy. <laughs> of course, they give us a card that is in alignment with this energy. He is all about coming to grips with what it is that really matters to you emotionally. And allowing that energy. He's, he's a king. He's an outcome. He's floating here on his sturdy little throne, floating in this choppy water. These fishes around his neck and jumping in the sea, they are your creativity. They are the things that inspire you and the things that you want to move forward with. They give you your emotional balance and your emotional harmony. So he's, he's leading the way this week. He's starting out with emotional outcomes. Use the energy of this week to understand the outcomes that you're, that you're desiring. What are your dreams? What is your desired outcomes? What do you want to happen that's in better emotional alignment for you than where you have been? This whole energy of what we've been going through, the staying home, stay safe energy, is about this exact emotional alignment. And... Where you want to, you know, you, you know, we're going to open the door at some point and step back out into the world. But you're going to step out in a better, higher emotional, vibrational alignment for you and what authentically matters to you. So that's why he's leading the energy this week, allowing you to get used to that idea. This is the Two of Pentacles. It's about perhaps you're worrying about the ups and downs of money, perhaps this whole time since the end of February has put you in a bit of a, a precarious financial position, but this green infinity symbol says your money is protected. It's divinely protected. These coins are not going to just fall and roll off. They are held in this divine infinity symbol. So money is going to be okay. Money's going to come back to you. Money's going to have security for you. Just weather through this temporary little ups and downs. It's going to get better. And then the moon. This, I think we had this card last week. I'm not sure. But this is a bit about fears. It's, you know, please don't let that fear energy rule the day. Don't let it be the thing you're focusing on because that's wasting your energy. You're not going to get anywhere from that space of focusing on what you don't want to happen or what the worst scenario could be. Please don't do that. That's just, it's not going to work. Instead, look at this path of your life. It keeps going and these little little golden droplets. These are blessings raining down on you. The towers are stability. You've got both the sun and the moon here for complete introspection, complete understanding. The little crayfish down here is what symbolizes literally your fears and it's in the water which says your fears are in the emotions. 
and you don't need to lose yourself to that. Don't, you know, the dog and the wolf bang, or that's the craziness. <laughs> don't participate in the craziness. Just stay on the path and keep going. This time is temporary. It's not going to last forever. Things are going to get better. And then we have the Seven of Swords. Again, another card I feel that's sort of shown up a lot for us right now. And in the background here, you've got circus tents. So if you feel things are a little uh, unsettled or crazy around you, just relax a bit. Over here, you've got these dark figures. So that's feeling conspired against. And what you need to do if those feelings are part of your life right now is you need to pick up your thoughts and your ideas and just walk away from that energy. Realize that energy is separate from you. It's not part of you. So you can walk away. You can take what's yours, leave behind the things that you don't need anymore, and just exit. <laughs> you don't have to participate or worry about those things. This is more of a card of, I just feel that energy and I'm worried a little bit about that energy and you don't have to participate in that. Just take what's yours and walk away. So all of this sort of emotional setting it up for you here. Then we get to the sun, the center card. So all these other cards radiate out from this beautiful center card, the sun. This is innocence, it's happiness, it's joy. It's not complicated. There's no ulterior motive or agenda going with this card. It's just pure happiness. It's pure what makes you laugh and what makes you smile and where you find your happiness. And that needs to be the basis of all this other stuff. Because from happiness, you can create anything. Happiness is complete alignment for you. And this sturdy stone wall here says have boundaries with anything that interferes with your happiness. Don't let people stress you out. Don't let situations stress you out. Focus on this amazing, brilliant sun, this red banner for passion, the white horse for innocence, the little child is innocence and naive and happiness. Just playing, playing and happiness. Energy to carry you through anything. And then we have the Eight of Cups. This is the card of embarking on a new path. It is about leaving behind these cups that you finished that are empty. You don't need to deal with those anymore. The moon, it's both the moon and the sun. This is actually a um, lunar eclipse, which is a time of reflection, which is exactly what we're going through right now. This quarantine, this staying home, this coming to terms with health and society and how everything is changing and shifting, it's very important about where you're going. And you know this card, you're not, you can't see sort of where you're going off the card. But you don't need to exactly know that yet. What you need to know is what I'm leaving, I'm ready to leave. These things are finished. These are old history. They hold nothing for me anymore. There's nothing else I'm going to get from this. So I'm going to embark on this new path, new journey to bring me to a new place. And then... You start with the Six of Pentacles, which is as you give, you receive. It's similar to this card up here, only this one says you don't need to worry about money and share all the goodness that you have. Pentacles is also health. So if you've been feeling any ups and downs around your health, know that it's going to get better all the ways that you are healthy and you are abundant, use those to help other people so things come back to you. Things will come back to you multiplied and greater. And then you've got the Nine of Pentacles here, you and your garden enjoying all the fruits of this goodness, the amazing good health, the strong and healthy bank account, all the things that you enjoy doing. This is your hobbies and your gifts and your talents. You in the garden, 
enjoying it. Luscious, happy goodness. And then they're going to kick that up another octave because here it's you by yourself. Here's you and all of your relatives and all of the generations and your community and your home and your life also benefiting from all the health, all the wealth, all the alignment, all the goodness, all the love, all the connection, everything unfolding better than you can ever imagine. You know, fantasize and dream <laughs> and then allow your guides to kick that up a notch. That's this card. Fantastic outcomes starting with this emotional outcomes through some details. Let happiness be your foundation to give you your personal and your family and community amazingness. Wonderful energy for this week. I love these cards. I love the narrative of how they unfold and how they work together. I am here for you. Have a reading. Let's specifically talk about your life. Let's get you the answers you need. Now is the time. I've got openings all week and I can't wait to connect with you. All the information is on my website, spiritpathways.net. Have a wonderful week and I'll be back here for you next week, next Monday. Bye-bye.